Hey guys, my name is Kathleen. I'm an avid Pacific Northwest day hiker, solo long distance backpacker, backpacking coach for women, and the hungry hiker here on YouTube. This summer, I've been solo hiking the Pacific Crest Trail heading southbound. In July, I started from the Eagle Tree Trailhead with a few of my students from the Confidence Solo Female Backpacker System. I said goodbye to my students at Timberline Lodge near Mount Hood and have been heading south solo ever since. In my previous video, I had just finished hiking the Northern California section of the PCT. After being treated to an epic zero day in South Lake Tahoe by my friends Rachel and John, I was back on the trail at Echo Lake to start hiking the Sierra section. Let's go hiking. All right, here we go. On the road again, 75 miles to Northern Kennedy Meadows. I'm at over 10,000 feet this year. Yay! Definitely feeling it. Everything's harder at 10,000 feet. But it's a town day. Three miles to the road and then enjoying a zero at Northern Kennedy Meadows. I might even ride a horse.
1.9 miles from the top of Dorothy Lake Pass. And all morning, it's been on and off, sprinkling, light hail. And just as I came up to this tent site, it started to thunder really loud. And the hail came down harder. The wind is picking up, so instead of throwing up my tent really quick, I threw out my tent fly and covered my pack, covered myself. I'm hunkered under some trees. And I'm just gonna wait this out because all morning this will happen for like 10, 15 minutes and then it blows over and the sun comes out. So instead of pushing onto the top of the pass, especially with the thunder, I'm gonna wait for this to chill out and then I'll continue on. And then the nice thing is, is once I get up to the top of the pass, it's all downhill to my tent site, which is like, I think at 8,300 feet. So whatever the weather decides to do for the rest of the day, it'll be okay because I won't be at the top of the pass I, or climbing up to the top of the pass either. I'll be down low and be able to hunker down. So now I just wait. <laughs> this is through hiking life in the Sierra. The last two mornings out here, I've woken up with frost all over my tent. The temperatures have been dropping like crazy. When I left North Kennedy Meadows, the forecast was calling for overnight lows of in the 20s. And I believe that's what's happening. I'm not feeling 100% and it's definitely slowed down my pace. So I think what I'm gonna do is take it easy tomorrow and hike, I think 13 or 14 miles to a camp before Tuolumne Meadows. Cause you can't camp in Tuolumne Meadows. You have to camp four or five miles away from Tuolumne Meadows. So this is the first campsite that you can camp at going southbound. And then the next day, I think I'm going to hike into Tuolumne Meadows, which is technically closed, but there's a bus stop that you can catch the Yards bus and you can either go into the Yosemite Valley or you can go to Levining, which also goes into Mammoth Lakes. Mammoth Lakes is gonna be my next resupply. So I think I'll just head into Mammoth Lakes a day early. If through hiking has taught me anything, it's be flexible, go with the flow and listen to your body. Through hiking is always hard. Section hiking is always hard. But now that I'm in the Sierra, the weather's changing, the in Inclines, the descents are much deeper. There's less entry exit points. If I'm feeling a little off, I'm gonna head into town. I wanna honor my body and if she needs a rest, I'm gonna give her a rest. I'm gonna give her some town food, a warm bath, maybe watch some movies and just see what happens. But right now, I just don't feel 100%. Like I don't feel sick. My nose feels runny and I feel tired. I'm not coughing. I sneezed one time today. So I'm gonna go into town one day early and I'm not gonna feel bad about it. And that's my plan.
go to Tuolumne Meadows. Actually, let's go to Mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> 